just me and my guitar Back here on Mark's Aquatics. Today we're going to make some emergency oxygen. When your power goes out in your house, you haven't got any power at all, you're worried about your fish and um, not having enough oxygen in their tank. If it's not a very well planted tank and they're not creating oxygen, you might have a few problems there. So, uh, with this little device, you'll have uh, plenty of oxygen going into your tank for quite a few hours. And that was normally enough time before they'll, uh, they'll fix the power supply and they'll put it back on. Or you can just keep repeating this. So what we need, we just need a normal a normal mineral water bottle like we've got there. Okay, need a length of airline like that. Now what we've got to do is we've got to drill our little hole in our cap. Like that, I'm just going to put that on my board here a minute. Right, now obviously you need a smaller hole than the diameter of the pipe. But like I've done on other videos, if you've watched them, if we take that apart, oh, airlines shooting everywhere here. Right, what we do is we cut that into a point first. We cut that into a point. Like that. And we pass that through first, then we can get over it the other side, and with some snips or pliers, whatever you've got, just give it a light pull and it'll pop through and make a nice pull a little bit through, and then you'll have a nice airtight seal, okay? Like that. And from there you can just snip it off again, and you've got a nice seal, which will then go on top of the bottle and seal it like that. Now, all we've got to do is the most simplest thing in the world to make. And all you've got to do is have some 6% hydrogen peroxide to hand. And we're going to get some of this. And we're going to pour it into there, like this. There you go, we've got some hydrogen peroxide in there now. And the other ingredient we need is a potato. Yep, good old potatoes. If you ever put hydrogen peroxide in your skin, if you've had a cut at any time to, uh, to disinfect things, and you find it fizzes on your skin, it's because your skin's got a reaction, it's got a, an enzyme in your skin which has a reaction with hydrogen peroxide and it releases the oxygen and it speeds up that oxygen release, that decomposition. So what you've got to do is, you've got to cut your, your potato up now, I'll shift this out of the way here and I can... Now the idea with this is you've got to create surface area, okay? So what we want to do is if we cut it all into bits like that first. And we're creating a lot of surface area there, see? By doing that. And then we can just zip it up into little bits, which are gonna obviously fit through the top of that bottle. Look at that, that was quick. I paused you there, I thought you were going to get bored of me watching me make chips. So, uh, <laughs> I thought I'd just pause you there for a minute. Right, so we've got a little pile of chopped up potatoes there. So we've created tons and tons of surface area for this to start reacting to. And now what we've got to do, we've got to put that into there. Okay. And it will start to fizz and release all the oxygen. Now I like to use a tall bottle because sometimes it can foam up slightly. Uh, as you can see already, look. You can see that oxygen's being released from that uh, 
some hydrogen peroxide. The quicker we can do it the better. But like I say, I like to use a tool bowl because you do get a bit of foam and you don't want that getting blown down the pipe and into your tank. So uh, there you go, you can see that reaction happening there. Bits of potato flying around. So now what we do is we quickly put the lid on and that will start to build up pressure now in the bottle. And if the goldfish don't mind, you don't mind, do you guys? I'm just going to put this in your tank, in your little pond a minute. There you go. Doesn't take that long at all. But now we've got pure oxygen now getting released into the tank. From all right, guys. What I've done as well on this one, I've um, I've got an old CO2 diffuser, which I fixed to it as well. So we'll, I'll take you in there, look. Hello goldfish. And we'll come in a sailor. As you can see, it's working brilliantly through there. It's built up a lot of pressure in that bottle. And as you can see, that's just straight from that bottle. You can feel that. That is really some pressure in there now. And with that added pressure, it's going to bleed through there a lot slower. This is the best thing to use if you can get one. You can pick up these... Um, these diffusers quite cheaply now. This one was a bit more expensive. I had it in a planted tank being all glass. But you can get the little ceramic ones, the little plastic rings. You can get all different types which you can use. And as you can see, it's working really well in there. I'm gonna time it just to see how long it's actually gonna run for. And I'll uh, tell you on the next video how long it actually kept on going for like this. And that was with a decent sized spud all chopped up and put in there you can see the oxygen being released from the hydrogen peroxide from the enzymes from the uh, from the potato and that'll keep your little mates alive There's our little mate Google there. Hello mate. He does make me laugh, that little goldfish. Always after food. Always starving. Should we give you some food? Come on in. They, they know their little pot. When I shake their little pot, straight to the surface after some food. Yeah, as you can see there guys, that's working really well in the uh, in the mini pond. The oxygen's flowing out of there. Flowing out of there lovely, look at that. And that's all from the pressure in that bottle in there, which is... Oh, I can hardly press the sides in now, but with that pipe in there, that's sealed because we made that hole smaller. So nothing's coming out of there now. That pipe's quite solid as well with the pressure. Look at that. Whoop, spooked my little Otter Sinclair there, he's gone nuts. Sorry mate. But yeah, that's working brilliantly. Really happy with that. Anyway guys, I hope you like these uh, little videos I'm doing. If you're new to the channel, pop back and have a look at some of the other ones I've done. There's lots of different uh, DIY builds on there, different things that we've done. Like the pond you're looking at, the mini pond, that's one of them. And um, like, share and subscribe if you would be so kind, that'd be fantastic. So we can get these little inventions out into the world and and people can have them then if they have a if they're ever in need of it they can they can make one up and have it all ready just in case all right then guys as always you're all stars love you all and take care and i'll see you on the next episode of marks aquatics so for me and a goldfish me and old google there bye for now just me and my guitar.